welcome to the next topic in pricing so before I start uh, let me answer a question that we had in the last week class and the question was uh, regarding pricing determination procedure So if I go to pricing procedure, um, Not sure why system is too slow today. Okay, in the meantime, um, I will just revise uh, what we have done last week. So, let's open. Um, Okay, so last week we had this question. If I open the standard, uh, not this one, sorry, wrong screen, uh, uh, determination of pricing procedure. So we are using this one. So last week we had this question that when we're creating this uh, determination procedure with a formalized sales organization, distribution channel, division plus document pricing procedure and customer pricing procedure is equal to this. So when there's a combination of all these five system will select this as a pricing procedure okay now what is the role of this one okay this condition type so the use of this condition type is let me show you in a sales order so if I open any sales order Okay, so if I go to the conditions of the sales order, where we have all the conditions types. Okay, now you here you can see we have PR00, we have some more. Okay, so like AZWR, SKTO, or could be something else as well. Okay, so but if I go to the main screen where we enter the sales order, this is a main screen where we enter the line items and all that. Okay, so if I if you select this line item. Okay, so on this line item, you can see there is a condition type PR0 displayed here. 
okay that's a function so for example <clears throat> if you want to see uh, the main price the the main price of the main item on the main screen okay so so whatever condition you put over there whatever condition you put here that will dis that will be displayed on the overview screen of the main uh, screen of the sales order okay so if i put something else it will be appearing that here okay so that means the basic the main price is pr00 always okay which is a main price so a user who is entering a line item here they they want to see the main price just on one screen rather than going into the uh, condition screens so they can see the price here that's a use okay so let me revise what we have done last week so pricing determination procedure so under this one we have condition types okay so to pricing determination procedure we assign condition types so let me show you that as well so here we maintain all the pricing procedure so r that's the one we using as a standard so with the, under this um, pricing procedure we have condition types these are the condition type pr00 pb00 if i scroll down there are a lot of them here okay so under pricing procedure we have condition type so under condition type what we have is um access sequence okay so if i open any condition type for example let me see pr00 okay if i go to the customizing of pr00 um that's a define condition types maintain condition types and under this access sequence we have so open there so if i search for pr00 pr00 i'll select pr00 go to details so under this condition type we have sorry under this condition type we have access sequence okay pr02 is access sequence okay so that's my access sequence here for example if i say if i take example of rb v a z something like that okay rb v a i think and under this one we have say i will pick one condition type pr00 and under this pr00 we have access sequence pr02 okay so that's your pr002 here so let's see what's next after this access sequence uh yes manish the other question from the last week class is uh, is a part of our uh, class today okay so that will come uh, when we study some more details uh, in the pricing today okay so i will explain you that one as well so um so this access sequence If I go back, go back. So if I open the access sequence, uh, this is a defined access sequence. So here, I will maintain my access sequence. Okay. So the one that was used is PR zero two. So let me see what is PR zero two. and here are if i click on position search for pr02 so under pr02 if i double click on accesses here it has condition tables okay these are the condition tables okay 305 306 30 
So I will write down here 305, 306, 304.